Hello everyone, my name is Ricky. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day today. Today is, well, yes, technically it's yesterday, but for me it's today at the time of recording this video. The Saw Chapter 4 Dead by Daylight has been released, and there is a new killer right here, as you can see, the pig, as well as a new survivor, which is, where is he? Detective Tap, uh, who has, who looks pretty fly, I gotta say, he looks, he looks pretty fly, I gotta be honest, but anyway, I don't play Survivor much, as you can tell. I play Killer, because I'm a killer, man. I don't like people d judging whether or not I get to win in a game. I don't like randos. I like Killer. So, right here we have... I, I forget her actual name. I think it's like Amanda or something. I'm going to start a lobby, because lobby queue times are a little bit long. But, uh, the pig, or whatever you want to call her... She has got she's a very interesting killer. I have played a few games with her, as you can tell. I'm level 20 with her at the current moment. Almost got enough for a new, new thing on the shrine. But at the moment, this is her power right here. Uh, it's two different things. It's the reverse bear traps that have a whole bunch of stuff to go on with them, as well as a special crouching ability to have no tear radius and also do a heavy dash action. Very interesting. As you can tell, I have gotten crap for perks. All my perks are pretty much garbage right now, which I'm very upset about, but you win some, you lose some. Anyway, I played a few games with her. Uh, my overall opinions on her, I'll tell you at the end of the video, but for now, we're going to play a game. We are unfortunately fighting four people who are, well, one person's playing as the new, the new guy, but these three are not, which means I'm most likely going to get my ass completely handed to me, but I hope that maybe I'll be able to get something out of this, because... I don't know. Uh, my perks are really bad, and due to the nature of the pig, I get hit with pallets a lot, so we'll see how it goes. We'll see what map it is. If it's Shelter Woods or something, I think I'll be okay, but if we get, like, goddamn um, Ironworks or, or perhaps Blood Lodge, then we're, we're pretty pretty doomed. All right. Blood points. Blood points. Blood points. Blood points. Okay. That, that's that's simple. No, uh, no mist. No moonlight. No hooks. It's good. Oh dear, oh dear. This is very bad. Okay, we got the bad end preschool. So a couple things happen in the update for the Saw DLC. First things first, let's crouch. Okay. We currently have zero terror radius. But... Oh. Ah! Oh, not, not fast enough. Ah, uh, damn it. Okay, so at that time, we had literally zero- Oh, shit, I got hit. We had zero terror radius when we were crouching down like that. We moved at slightly uh, slower speeds, as you could tell. But what happens, you get that special little lunge when you come out of that stealth- or stealth mode, basically, in a way to kind of ambush and freak out survivors. Obviously, that right there- No, no one's doing that generator. Yes, they are. I lied. Got him! That felt so good. So that's basically what happens with good old the pig here. That's her, her first part of the special ability. Now, they also did a few changes during the Saw update in which they've had... Well, they added... Or, not added, but they removed a few of the pallets. Which makes me incredibly pleased because there were so many pallets in this game. And any reduction in pallets is always appreciated. Now, the second part of her is this. Boom. That is a reverse bear trap. This reverse bear trap will activate, if you didn't already read the, what it means earlier, as soon as the generator is activated. Now, I, can't, I don't know if the generator that was just finished right there counted or not. It was kind of, you know, during the middle of the animation. So I'm not sure if that actually counts or not. So for me, though, I need to go find somebody to, to mess with. I had a feeling someone would be doing that generator. Come on. Bill! Got him. Okay, it did activate. Oh, oh, actually, no, that other generator just activated, so it makes sense. So on the bottom of town corner, you see that? You see that right there? That's the, uh, that red timer is the, t the ticking down timer of that bear trap. If that thing goes off, he dies. No, no sacrifice, nothing. He is dead. N nothing, he's just gone. Simply gone. So, there are a couple ways, there's only one way to get him off, and you see those little white auras currently on the map? Those white auras 
are basically little jigsaw boxes. He has to go to them, and he has a 1-4 chance that that box has his specific key for his head. If it is, excellent. He takes it off, and it's gone forever. Uh, never has to worry about it again. If he's wrong, he has to go to the next one, and then the next one. Now, I only have four of these uh, reverse bear traps, so once they're gone, that's pretty pretty bad for me. Oh. Oh, shit. Hello. Oh, crap. I'm just gonna hit you. Oh, he got it off his head. Well, not the bill that I was currently chasing, but, uh, uh, the other bill. Or the other, the, the other the detective. The detective got off his head. Shit, okay. There are a couple, uh, specific... Ow. Couple specific things that also work when it comes to these bear traps. Uh, most specifically are, are things that change it around. For instance, if I chase somebody, it turns off the timer. Timer doesn't uh, activate anymore. If they're hooked, turns off the timer. If they're down, it turns off the timer. Basically... That felt good. That felt really good. Um, all that stuff turns off the timer. So, that makes it a little bit, you know, so I just can't just tunnel them immediately. It makes it super easy for me to just kill them. So, that does help out a little bit. Uh, right now, obviously, because the timer's white, it's not currently on. He needs to find these jigsaw boxes and see which one can be, uh, can work out. Basically, it forces you to not do generators or anything in order to try to not kill your friends. But, at the same time... I kind of got to play the, uh, I need to make sure that none of these things... I see that guy healing up there, but I care more about this bill. I had a feeling he was going to have Sprint Burst, but I, I wasn't sure because I never chased him before. So I was like, mm, maybe he won't. He, he did. He very much did. I'm a little upset about that. What's his name? Bukaki Samurai? Yes! Okay, I'm going to slap a bear trap on this man, and then I'm going to... Going to go stop whoever's going to save that other bill. In the in the basement because someone's on his way down. There he is. Borrowed time only works if you're in the tear radius. This will turn that off. So if you have borrowed time, you no longer do. Friends, friends. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Bukaki samurai there because that generator turned on. His bear trap is active. It is turned on. Oh, there's the timer. So this bill I just killed because, well, you know, it was kind of no real reason not to just kill him, you know? But that's how it goes. So that bill specifically needs to find... Oh yeah, that's right. They changed it so that the sound it makes when someone dies is the same. Damn it. Is the same as if someone disconnected. So when someone dies, it makes the disconnect noise. I never noticed that until now. Ooh. That was some janky shit right there. That was some of the jankiest stuff I've seen today. All right, on the head. That is the last bear trap I have. Well, reverse bear trap, but that is the last one. Okay, uh, this is not going to be active yet. We have to wait until another generator is completed. But that other bill is probably frantically going through the jigsaw boxes, trying to find which one uh, is the one that has his key. Now, so that means I need to go to the jigsaw boxes, see if I can find Bill. You here, Bill? No, nope, Bill's not there. Uh, you see, as a survivor, he can, with, with it with it on his head, he can see all the different boxes. He knows where they are. Once it's on his head, there he is. Now, you see, I'm in a chase, so it doesn't affect him anymore, but... Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just kind of protecting this box. Damn. Really hoping that Bill would try to make his way over here. I see scratch marks right in front of me. Someone's over trying to get this jigsaw box. All right, which one of you is trying to put your hands in this jigsaw box? Nobody. 
Ah. Uh, that Bill was trying to. It was that Bill. Okay. You see, this is this is kind of the reason that that this the pig has her own kind of like she has a natural way to stall the game. Just by being the pig, she stalls the game. Because they don't want to do generators or else it's going to turn the timers on. And they don't want to uh, do generators because they have a thing on their head. They got to get, get, get off. You know, they got to get off. It snapped. You saw that game over sign right there? You saw that game over sign? That means it snapped. Poor Bill. Poor Bill. His head just went... <coughs> Check this out. Damn it. I fucked up. That's alright. Hey, Bill. Whoa. I can't believe I was able to hold it out for long enough. I believe the timer is two and a half minutes. So, the fact that I was able to actually have that snap was really surprising. I... It's very rare you actually get a saw. Oh, there he is! Well, his face looks no different, unfortunately. Because they just I guess they just didn't want to animate that or, or, you know, change it. But I guess he was trying to search for the key in here. And while he was searching, it snapped on him. Look, look at the puppet. He's just like, oh, I know what I did. I know what I did. God damn. Some fucked up shit. All right. One nice thing about playing as this killer during the end, though, is uh, if you are going, like, trying to... Because this guy's obviously trying to find the hatch, you know? He shouldn't be doing any generators. He'd be dumb to do generators. Um, I can just run around. I, I Granted, a reduced movement speed, but I still move pretty fast uh, in my little stalker mode. And thanks to that, I can surprise him. He'll never know where I am. He doesn't get- he doesn't get the luxury of my heartbeat. I may not be a doctor. It's like a reverse doctor, you know? The doctor gives you a massive heartbeat, but he's able to know where you are at all times. Now you don't know where I am at all times. It's like toggling insidious. Oh, Jesus Christ, Bill. Alright. He's somewhere around here. Alright. Now, the pig is an interesting killer. I give her like around a mid-tier level, Prob probably along the lines with Myers and the Doctor. Uh, ah, there we go. Mainly because she's still she's not she's no Nurse Hillbilly or Huntress because all three of those killers have a way to deal with pallet loops, you know. So because of that, because she doesn't have that, she automatically isn't going to be as good as those three. She stalls the game out. In, in fact, she's actually the best at stalling the game. Oh wow, they had a brand new part. And she's really, really good at, at sneaking on people and getting free hits. The bear traps are more, a little gimmicky. The bear traps themselves, I almost never get kills with them. That was one of the only times I've ever gotten a kill with the bear trap. But overall, she is very fun, that's for certain. I, I've thoroughly enjoyed playing her. Um, uh, it's a little bit of a weird thing about... Why did they make a killer to slow the game down instead of just slowing the game down? That that's for a different video. That that's a a weird like DVD meta thing. But for the time being, I hope you enjoyed this quick little gameplay of the pig. I hope you enjoyed watching it a little bit. I hope you enjoyed seeing the the fun times this character can have. And for all of you, my name is Zubricky, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.